Here I am at this beautiful beach. No crabs up here, but this past summer, my family and I traveled to Nags Head, North Carolina and encountered the amazing and mysterious ghost crab. The ghost crab is a very special species of crab. It is named after its pale coloration, which matches the sandy beaches that it lives on. Ghost crabs are scavengers. They'll eat just about any small creature that washes up on the shore. They will also eat small amounts of vegetation, discarded human food, and anything else that looks edible. Yes, shellfish are like the garbage cans of the ocean. To protect themselves from predators, ghost crabs dig deep holes in the sand. These holes have to be continually cleaned out of excess sand because the waves that wash over them continually bring in lots of sand. When a predator comes, however, the ghost crabs swiftly dash back into their holes. If the crab is not around their hole when another animal or human gets too close, they will quickly dart into the sea and wait until this trouble has passed. What happens when a crab is cornered or caught, or even comes in a fight with another crab, you might be asking? How do they tell other creatures that they are not to be messed with? Well, you are about to learn something new. Let's start with this. Since ghost crabs do not have teeth in their mouth, their teeth are located in their stomach. Their teeth are set in rows and grind up their food. Other crustaceans have these internal teeth, but ghost crabs have the ability to do something spectacular with them. Imagine if a crab was cornered by a predator, such as a raccoon. He waves his claws in the air and tries to pinch the creature, but it's not enough. The crab rubs together his claws to make a threatening sound. Then the crab uses his superpower. He begins growling and waving his claws in the air. The raccoon loses interest and wanders off. What happened? <laughs> this is what meant the scientists that were studying the ghost crab were thinking after they heard the ghost crabs make this peculiar sound. At first, they did not actually see how the ghost crabs were making these noises. Then they ran many tests and found out that the sound was coming from their teeth. They concluded that ghost crabs have the ability to stridulate teeth in their gut when aggravated. The growling noise is a way of communication that simply means, back off. <laughs> While my family and I were at the beach, we discovered an article about the ghost crabs' peculiar growling sounds, and we decided to see if it was true. After scrambling around and trying to catch these crabs, we eventually caught some. The ghost crabs were kept in my bucket as we pried them at the end of my net. And sure enough, the crabs responded by making the growling sound. After catching many of the crabs that all made the same noises, we let them all go. This just shows one example of all the amazing talents that God has given the creatures on our earth. Come back soon for more of our videos about nature and science. If you enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something new, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, The Dust Kids. I bet you thought we were at the beach. Nope, technically we are at a beach. But this beach is actually a creek. <laughs> oh, ah. did, he, did he pinch you? No. <laughs> Washes up on the beach. Wait. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. And then 